When it comes to working with coding interview questions, mathematical questions come up quite a bit. And so this is going to be another one that I want to walk through. And it is going to also let us walk through a very important method in Ruby that many times can get overlooked. So looking down into our tests, let's see exactly what our expectations are. We have a method called mod checker, and inside of it, we're going to first be able to pass in a range of values. One of the first tests is a basic one that just looks for all of the values between 1 and 200, converts it to a collection. The next one's much larger, where it goes from 1 all the way up to 120,000. And then we pass in two items. So we're going to pass in one number, first one's going to be 12, and then 16. And then the expectation on what the method should return is the value that those two numbers are both divisible by. So we're essentially we're looking for a, a, a multiple for these two values, but we're not going to use the least common multiple uh, method. There is that available to us in Ruby, but I want to walk through exactly how we could do that if we either didn't know about the LCM method or uh, or we were told we weren't allowed to use it and we're looking to do the same thing here if we pass in the value 273 the answer should be 100 and or 14,600 so let's see exactly what we need to do in order to build this the first is I'm going to pass in the array. We know that is the first argument that's going to be passed in and then I'm going to call the detect method and detect takes a block. I definitely recommend for you to research the detect method because that's some cool features associated with it. So what this is going to do is inside of each one of the array elements we're going to run detect and we inside of it we can run any types of conditionals we want. So what detect is looking for is it's looking for a situation where what we pass inside the block returns true. So I'm going to say mod and then pass the modulus operator to num1, see if that is equal to zero. So all this is essentially doing is it's saying is num1 divisible into whatever the value is. So if it is 12, it's going to find that it is divisible by 12 because there's no uh, there's no remainder here. And then the other thing we're going to do is say mod modulo num2 is equal to 0. And so what we're doing here is we're checking num1 and num2 and we're saying is it divisible by both of these numbers. Because I passed in and right here, this is now going to check to see if it's divisible by both. And then from there, it's going to return the first situation. It's going to return the first number where both of these items are true. So if I say I copied this and let's verify that this is working with a large number like our 120,000. So if I take this and run it, this should return 14,600. And running the code, you can see that that is working perfectly. And also, if you look at the values that are returned, this is pretty cool and pretty telling here, where what is happening is each time that we go through and detect loops through the collection, it's checking to see if these values are both true. But it keeps on running into situations, as you can see, where they are going to be false because we're starting at 1 and we're going to go all the way up in this case to 120,000. And as soon as it finds a true value, it's going to end. And as you can see, that true value occurs when we hit the number 14,600. And so that is how you can find the numbers that are divisible by other numbers without using the least common multiple method in Ruby.